I'm here on the coast of northern Queensland in Australia and the coastline looks very tranquil today, a beautiful sunny day um, and it, indeed it's protected by the Great Barrier Reef just offshore uh, a wonderful very long feature that runs down the, the, the northeast coast of Australia and it protects this coastline from the worst of the uh, uh, Pacific swells and so we don't have too much uh, high wave energy here on a regular basis but every now and again given that this is the tropics the area does suffer from tropical cyclone activity and uh, every few years there's a big cyclone now the impact that that has on the beach is not necessarily one of erosion although that can occur locally um, it does induce storm surges which uh, brings water, sheets of water onto the land and it also um, raises the water level in general and brings wave um, activity related to the cyclone wind right up to the shore. Now there's a combination of storm surges and, and elevated water levels that, that uh, erode, uh, sorry, um, that bring wave energy to the shore uh, results in deposition at the shoreline, not erosion generally, but deposition, it brings sediment on shore. And along a beach like this, uh, we can see um, numerous ridges uh, in the backshore area that uh, represent individual cyclones and cyclone deposition. So let's just have a wander along and have a look at some of these uh, ridges. Now, first of all, at the back of the beach, we have uh, this slight ridge which is just um, being colonized by pioneer vegetation. Um, and as we go through, you can see there's a, there's a slight dip here um, as I walk past uh, and behind that first ridge. Then it rises up again, and indeed there's a, a tree on this one, so it's been here quite a while, and the vegetation is much more established. And this is a quite, quite a large um, ridge, several meters across. There is a slight dip then uh, in, in, the, in, the, in the back shore area. Then there's another dune, a bit more irregular. It's been there a long time. Uh, another tree here showing how long it's been um, and, and that is quite well established now and then there is a, quite a, um, a distinct swale here um, that would have been the back of a beach at one point before that other, the, the subsequent cyclone uh, ridge was in place and as we go back further still we're climbing now up quite a major ridge um, there's at the back of this uh, back shore area and as we can see that this one is quite well established and as we go further back if I show you, if I pan round we can see that there are, there's another swale just before we get to the main road and that the houses are on the other side of that so in fact the houses are built on ancient um, cyclone ridges as well so what this shows us is that the uh, shoreline is a dynamic shoreline it's built up um, through and progrades through progradation uh, through cyclone deposition um, uh, through uh, many centuries um, so although cyclones that may be associated generally with um, erosion destruction and loss of uh, damage to property loss of life in some cases for a coastline like this it's, it's crucial in building up rather than destroying the coast, allowing the beaches to progr progradate, prograde rather, um, out towards sea, creating these lowland, coastal lowland strips of which um, people then populate.